Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, this is Sharon, of course, and my two co-hosts. One and only Jamal, and I'm TC. Well, well, what do we have here, good people? What do we have here? Looks like a cop to me. Does it look like a cop to you, like Jamal? Cop to me. TC, is that a cop? I'm very experienced on what a cop look like. That's a cop. <laughs> okay. Wonder what she. What happened? What what did she do? Uh, I wonder. Uh, before we continue, we got this from Pink Book Lessons. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I mean, if you got a badge and a gun, you do whatever you want to these days. It seems like. Except for still shoot. Well, she it didn't stop her, did it? It got arrested. Well, we had a black cop while on duty. Mm. Still a $140 pair of shoes. Wow. Couldn't you just go in the store and lay them away, baby girl? Just go in there and say, uh, I, can I lay these shoes away? I give you so much money every two weeks. I get paid every two weeks. I come in and I pay on on the shoes. Can I lay them away? Please. Or she could have done when she's off duty and a, and a, had a costume on and took it herself that way. Nah, nah, that's not well, well, no, I'm see, not I ain't advising to do that. No, we're not mm-hmm. going to condone stealing in any form of fashion. When she could have done it, when she couldn't have done it, it's not condoning it. Well, uh, why didn't she wait to payday and, and, you know, and start saving some money? I mean, they were just $140. Money, I'm pretty sure she I mean, $140. Yeah, she could have had money in two weeks, in two months. Probably do some overtime, had it in one night. Mm-hmm. Let's play some more. She was hauled out the store in handcuffs mm. and placed in the back of her own patrol car wow. on duty. I'll let you know exactly what she did. But first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed wow. to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from Columbus, drop Columbus below in the comments. Shout out to everybody watching from Mississippi. Shoplifting, usually a petty crime committed by people targeting retail stores. But in recent years, it's been reported often that those seemingly small crimes started putting huge dents on the balance sheets of retailers across the country. Mm -hmm. Now to the rise of shoplifting, Target says that last year it lost hundreds of millions of dollars from theft. The company reporting it lost $763 million last year due to lost or stolen merchandise, the majority coming from shoplifting. And as a result, Target is locking up more and more of its inventory on store shelves, requiring employees to get help for those shoppers. It is hard to fathom, but socks under lock. For months now, various stores have been locking up beauty, hygiene, and cleaning products. But now we're hearing that some Bay Area stores are locking up socks. Walmart says it will be forced to raise prices or even close stores if the surge in shoplifting continues. The company's CEO cited a lax approach by prosecutors to shoplifting crimes, specifically organized retail theft. Two days in a row, groups of Venezuelan migrants were charged with burglaries in DuPage County. In a crowded Oak Brook shopping center, prosecutors say two men from Venezuela were caught stealing $750 in clothing from mm. Macy's. Mm. When polite to stop them, one of the men refused, trying to get away before he was brought to the ground and handcuffed. Mm. Mm. Same, 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 same. Last week, retailer Dick's Sporting Goods had to deal with an unusual shoplifter in their Mississippi store. A woman walked in the store in the Columbus, Mississippi area and tried to steal a pair of $140 shoes. Mm. But she wasn't just any woman. That woman was wearing a uniform, a police uniform. Yes, the woman was an officer. She pulled up in her patrol car to do some shoplifting. That's 33-year-old Robert Connor. And not... She pulled up in her <laughs> cop car. You dumb and you know people will be looking at you. You a cop walking through the store. Everybody gonna you you gonna stand out like a sore thumb. I, bl- I guess she believed she was above the law. Maybe she thought she was invisible. Probably. What'd you think? I guess she thought she was Tiffany Haynes. <laughs> you know, I did see on on in there, you know, believe it or not, but uh Japan was is it one of them Asian companies, Japan, China, one of them. They scientists have designed an invisible shield. Is that right? 
and you you put it in front of you and you disappear. Well, that's what she should have done. And evidently, she thought the one she bought from him didn't work. Is that right? I guess she need to return that shield. What you think? Who knows? A hundred and forty dollar pair of shoes. You go walk in with your uniform, mm -hmm. your gun, your badge. Pull up in your big old patrol car with a big old flashing light, and you go just walk in there, grab the shoes, you know, and then turn around and walk out. That's what she thought. I guess she said, I'm the law. I do what I want. Whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. She thought she was Teflon <laughs> Tiff, didn't she? Yes, <laughs> she did. And the sad part is, they put her in her own car. Her own car. <laughs> Where they do that at? I guess Columbus, Mississippi, right? I guess so. Let's play some more. Only was robbing an officer wearing her police uniform while selling shoes in the store. Officer Connor was also on duty. Mm. Yeah, a police officer on duty walking around the store stealing. It was an employee at the store who caught Officer Connor and somehow detained the on-duty officer while they called 911. I want to hear that call, by the way. So the employee is like, hey, 911, we got one of your officers down here stealing shoes out the store. The dispatch contacted the managers right away because, of course, this is a cop. The shift supervisor called the folks above him. The next thing you know, the captain was down there. The mm. assistant police chief mm. and the police chief, they all wow. responded to the scene. Wow. The police chief said it was so embarrassing. They had to handcuff their own officer and put her in the back of her own patrol wow. car in her uniform. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. They transported her to jail in the same car she drove there in. Wow. The police chief said, we're putting her in jail. It's embarrassing for the department, but we're going to treat her like we would anybody else. Well, they beat her. He said this was a cut and dry case. So far, city officials weighed in on the incident. All five of them voted to fire her immediately. Mm. So now not only is she in trouble with the law, Robin, she's been fired from her job. Wow. Thomas police officer has been arrested, accused of stealing a pair of shoes while on duty. Mm. Robin Connor was arrested after officers were called to Dick's Sporting Goods about 12 30 mm. this afternoon. She's charged with misdemeanor shoplifting. Police Chief Joseph Daughter says Connor was wearing her uniform and was on duty when she was taken. Mm, what a shame. Do you need some of the sneakers that bad? I'm just saying, if I'm a cop, ain't nobody at the store going to detain me. I got maze. Huh? I think it was the off duty officer was at the store. Still, you got maze. Huh. Well, they evidently they told him not to do nothing to her. They just said, watch her. And all the big wigs come down to the, the, do it themselves. I'm talking about in the process of uh, committing a crime. Who's going to stop me when I No, nobody. Me? You got you got a gun, yeah, a right. badge, a mace, and a, right and a billy stick, Who's gonna and a taser. Why you call the police to come get me? All you had to do is go out there, get her a patrol card number, and call it in. Well, now all she had to do just go and mind that's, her that's, business. That's true too. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, th this is a shame, but. I mean, if I won't be a criminal, I'm not saying I'm a criminal. If I won't be a criminal. I won't be an on duty cop. You're not going to detain me at the store. That's all I'm saying. You know, I saw this news clip. You know, Donald Trump got some gold sneakers out. Mm -hmm. He only made 50 of them. And he's talking in black people. And they cost uh, $400. I'll be awesome. I'll be and, uh, and the news, uh, uh, you know, they had this black dude had my, oh, they, they fire. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The, the news man said, well, see, uh, Trump is targeting black people because black people like sneakers. I, was I like, see. I, I was like, wow. <laughs> it's all you have to do is get some votes is to get some sneakers for black people. And they, li they like, now, if black people don't want to like sneakers. No, they ain't the only one, but, but they, they most ones that know. Sneakers. Yeah, you know, gold sneakers. Who 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 else would wear a gold sneaker? Trump would. Besides him, and and then what the words say? <laughs> I mean, they he this white man was talking about, you know, black people love sneakers. I mean, are we that basic? Hey, you see it, the officer. The officer took some sneakers. Are are are, are we that base? Are we that low? That we we'll do anything for a pair. Not all of us, but the ones that do it are that low enough to do it. 
for some fake leather and some glue and stitching. Really? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, the shoes cost $140, so they, they couldn't have been, you know, fine uh, uh, leather from uh, Norway or somewhere. Uh, Italian leather. So, so. I guess she said, I want what I want. I guess to have it now. I mean, I, I know they want Jordan because Jordan cost more than $140. Don't they? Depends on the size, the size of your shoe. Yeah. But, really? You can't make this up. I mean, th this is unbelievable. That Not you real. will walk in the store. I mean, you yeah. you you standing like a sore thumb. Of course, people gonna look at you. They think, hey, is she here for us? Did, did, did we do something? Of course, they gonna look at you. That's true. We got to do better, people. We got to do better. I mean, you know, and the scripture says. I always do try to get a little bit of scripture in there. The scripture says, you who judge, and she judging other people when she go pick them up. Yeah. You who judge, do you do the same thing? That's true. And if, and if so, then you are a hypocrite. So this is a hypocrite. She go out and arrest everybody else for stealing some shoes. And she go go in and think she can steal some shoes and nothing happen? I guess she thought she going to fight the law. What the law wants. Well, I can't say that. I am the law. And I won. I'm a leader. I got a star on my car and a star on my chest. I'm the highway patrol. Wow. Why I mean, at word. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gonna it, steal why at word? I mean, what? What? She go on a lunch break? Right, she, was she on a lunch break? She wasn't on a lunch break. She was just on duty at the time. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe she was on a lunch break though. Nah, right, they would have said something right there. A, a place of more into custody. Connor was on her second stint with the department. She returned about two years ago. Now she's on administrative leave and this investigation is continuing. We have a job to do. So we're, we held to a higher standard and uh, the community is just starting to trust us. And Don't nobody trust you. Punch really hurts. Uh, that's why we fulfill our obligation, not only uh, to the store, but to this community. And Connor was given an $862 surety bond in that. $800 or oh, $140 pair of sneakers. That's hustling backwards. <laughs> um, don't nobody trust a cop. You hear him lie to yeah. a week at night regaining trust. Don't nobody trust no cop. Don't, don't lie to yourself. Very few are being trusted. Not a whole lot. None of them being trusted. Mm -hmm. Right now, we got cops killing, getting being killed. You're not being trusted. Don't nobody trust you. I mean, that, that's why she still had like a sore thumb in the store. I mean, she could have went and put a, a, a got one of them work uniforms to put on, or one of them uh, work jumpers, you know what they yeah. see. She could have put one of those over her suit and, and went in the store. Yeah, that's very true. But then again, she was in the patrol car. Well, yeah, she right. should have ran around the corner and, and hid the shoes <laughs> yeah. and then took off the orange suit, then came back and got in the car. I guarantee she parked in front of the store. Of too. course she did. <laughs> of course she mm -hmm. did. I mean, you know, she, you know, they say criminals not too bright. That's what they say. I guess it don't take much to be a police officer. You don't have to be the brightest mm -hmm. crayon in the box. I guess in that city. You just got to be uh, <laughs> brave enough to... Uh, to take that risk of being shot. Unless you like Tiffany Hinn. She promotes you without passing the exam. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> Tiffany, she wasn't the brightest crayon in the box either. No, she the dullest crayon in the box. If she had any sense, she wouldn't have been doing what she was doing. But anyway, and this cop was just as dull in her senses. I mean... <laughs> you can't make sense of this. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to make... You trying to make this make sense. Ain't nothing to make sense of she did what she did. She was going to get those shoes while she was on the job in the, patrol, in the police patrol car and she was going to pull up to the store. I, I guess that white dude was right. Black people like sneakers. And they do anything to get them. I mean, I'm surprised she ain't out there killing cows and skinning cows and, 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 and uh, you know, drying the skin and making her own shoes. Yeah, that's too much work. You know, that's, yeah, that's too much work. Done. Oh, that's too much work. <laughs> Oh, you do just use one of them industrial sewing machines nah, and, and, some that, and some of that super duper glue. See, the thing is, she wasn't trying to do the work to make the shoes. <laughs> she, she wanted to steal shoes. 
Well, why don't she go find the crackhead on the street and and offer them a fifty dollars? I mean, they would did it for a twenty dollar rock. That sure would have. Say, girl, you go in there get them shoes for me. Look at look at this twenty. Hmm. I had enough five to it if you get away with it. Uh-huh. And you know, I, I'm gonna be down the street around the corner. <laughs> uh, she could find one of those immigrants. I ain't saying what city, country, or nothing. She could find an immigrant. We ain't calling no names. We ain't, ain't, we ain't. Did, it's, it's, I don't did, care. Wait a minute. Uh, at the first of the beginning, didn't say them Venezuelans. Yeah, yeah, but we, but we ain't calling. We ain't calling no names. We ain't calling no countries out. Why not? Cause then the people will start coming for us. Why? Y'all I mean, racist? No, did that news man just yeah, said that's that what he said, they bro. went into uh, Macy's? The two uh, Venezuelan men went into Macy's, and that's what they're doing in New York. Well, I, I understand that's what he said, but we ain't calling out no country. He could have uh, taught the, the immigrant how to make the sneakers himself, and there you go. Talk to him, great how to make the sneakers themselves. Yeah. They ain't gonna do that. If if he working for, if he came from a sweatshop over there, he know how to make it. But they ain't gonna do that. Yeah. You know, one of the migrants in New York, he from uh um who's that? Honduras. He said, I want to go back to Honduras. I had it better over there than I do over here. Well, you should have stayed. That's true. I mean, what did he think gonna happen when he got over here? The American dream in the in the nineties. There ain't no American dream. Well, things was cheaper in the nineties, so. I tell you, what, the real, the real, true, down the earth American dream was for the white man. Right, yeah, and I know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, come on, no, that, that's not that's not that's not covered up, and that ended in the probably in the sixties and the seventies, eighties at the latest. Then after that, everything started going downhill. I mean, why you think uh, Trump won't make America great again? America never was great. It was. Well, it, yeah. For yeah. the white people, it was great. It was great for a long time. But, you know, he, he still, no, he's from that generation. Well, in the early 90s, it was a little bit better for us. Not a whole lot. That, it started going downhill. <laughs> yeah, it started going downhill for us, man. It started. Yeah. Cause that's when this the you know uh, especially uh, what's that um uh, uh big big uh, big Bush, uh Daddy Bush he started that war over in the in the in the desert over there. What, what desert storm. Desert storm. Then after that it been war after war after war. That's true. So there uh, the American dream is gone. It well, ain't no more. Well, it was better. The comedy was better when Clinton was in there. That's the last time. <laughs> yeah. The American dream is dead, folks. Mm-hmm. Don't don't uh, you you people over there in the other countries. If you if you listen to the videos, you gonna see the American dream ain't no more. So don't let nobody feel you. Oh, there's a pie in the sky. It's better over here. No, it's not. Um, no, it's not. And don't be surprised. If Donald Trump end up back president again, I don't know. Hey, well. I don't know. There's a lot why, of people. Why, why, why you say well? hey, well. Tell me why. I ain't no need to. They already experienced the clown show the first time. They not gonna go back to the clown. But Donald Trump won't let immigrants come in and feed them well, with food stamps. I understand that, but he's not gonna win. Well, he, 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 well he, who, he, who do you think gonna win the Republican? I don't know. It ain't gonna be him. He been winning a lot of his court cases. I, I don't. If if he don't, uh, if he's not the Republican, uh, um, the person, then I don't know. He's the lead candidate, but he's not going to get back in office. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, if if it come down between him and Biden, right. he will. I don't think. So. I don't believe so. Ain't nobody gonna put Biden <laughs> back in there. I don't think nobody gonna put him back. Yes, in they will. Either. They they, so. they they will they would rather have him in there old, than than old sleepy uh, sleepy Joe. Oh, uh, dementia, old dementia and Joe. Be going to Joe. No, I, I'm saying. Ain't nobody going to get Joe. I'm talking about it might be other candidates are going to come out and run it because he's got the he still got to do primaries. He still got to do that. I in in the what if he's already in a uh, person it's gonna be between him mm, and, and the next person and and the uh, Republican yeah, yeah. so uh, or in or independent yeah so 
if if it, if it, I'm, all I'm saying is if it come down between Trump and Biden, I think Trump gonna get it. Trump will get in. Oh, if it came down to just those two, Trump and Biden, Trump will get back in. I guarantee ya. I guess we'll get back to the topic at hand. We feel it all alone. Oh, yeah, well, we did, didn't we? Well, there's not much more we can really say about this. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah. If you're the law, stop being a criminal. Ooh. I mean, if you're going to be a criminal, don't don't wear your uniform. Don't pull up in front of the store in your car and, and wear your uniform going there and think you just snatch and grab. Yeah, she, she thought she was going to do it at one of the Target snatch and grab Walmart. Snatch yeah. and grab. Yeah, I, I can tell everybody else doing it. Man, I tell you, see, that's why people don't respect the police. And they tell you not to do something, and they go and do the same thing you doing. What? Here I is, I'm in my white and black and blue. Mm. I'm going to take what I want. I, she just go take it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, there's also another clip of, of uh, they showing uh, cops stealing. I didn't see the, um, I don't remember where, what video I seen that from, but they, they were still, they was at somebody's house stealing. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Yeah. Well, until next time, people. Be blessed. <laughs> you don't sound like you believe that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. All right, well, we out.